Yo, this shit? This shit is nuts. This is definitely Herbs Day. It's a broccoli bell boy, K. Russell Westbrook, K. Veggie Miller, K. Mr. 51 pounds down to count, but who's counting me because I'm Betty? Uh, I'm not going to believe it, y'all, with all those acronyms because I can go on and on for days. You feel me? But today, um, I found something that I personally am taking to myself. And it's an herb that I found out that's also aiding in, uh, you know, like eliminating that ED or premature ED diagnosis. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all ain't got ED. You just out here ain't performing when you got the time to do it or when it's, you know, when it's presented to you and then you run into that shit. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe you need to change up your diet. Like I always say, the best thing you need to do is change up your diet because that shit should work naturally without any supplements, without any subscriptions from the doctor, all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? You should be able to function for a long time. They try to tell us that you get to like 40 something and your joint ain't working and okay, you got ED, it is what it is. No, that's not the case. We got a fucked up diet in most countries and we also have a lot of fucked up ways that contribute to those things. There's a lot of natural supplements that can aid and help in you being able to achieve what you gotta achieve without you going straight to some standardized medicine or just some, you know, everything is off the rails, or whatever. So this is what I bring to you today. I don't know if y'all can see this, you know what I'm saying? Like, hopefully you can, wrong point. But if you can't, it's called Sustanch, also known as Desert Ginseng, a traditional Chinese herb that is known for centuries to treat a variety of ailments. The perennial shrub that's found in deserts of northern China, Mongolia, Russia, almost to the fact that if you ever heard of Genghis Khan, I'm reading this book right now, but Genghis Khan is known to be like 8% of the whole population of men, damn near in the world, he was getting it in, you feel me? But that was one of his favorite herbs. So, scientific name is Sustantia's herba. Preliminary research has shown that Sustantia has increased testosterone levels by inducing steroidogenic enzymes in testicles. Although the findings come from animal studies, but that's what they do with most of these because they're not standardized. And but it's shown that it has potential benefits to increase sperm count and motility. Motility just means that um, how fast your sperm moves, and you need that. You know, so if you're trying to make a baby and things like that, um, this might be right up your alley. It's also useful, like I said, on this channel, I also talk about a lot of things that have probably three different effects as it relates to if you're thinking about ED. You have ones that increase blood flow. You have ones that make you feel a lot more ready to make that thing happen. But this is one of those ones that does two of those possible things. Well, the last one is the vasodilator, but this one does the vascular dilator. This one also makes you feel a lot more calm. A lot of people take this as a nootropic. So ladies, you can also take this as well. So it's not just limited to men. But what I will say that I found me taking this is that I do feel happy. I do feel a general good mood and things like that. Um, but I will say that um, the vasodilation effect of this feels a lot different than blood flowing directly to your male member. You know what I'm saying? Like you got certain ones like L-Arginine, I'll do a video on that another time or whatever, but that's just straight blood flow. Whenever you need blood, it's gonna go to wherever you need it. And that's why it's also recommended, well, L-Arginine for that matter, when you working out and things like that, because it's gonna make you get the good pumps and all types of things like that, but it's also gonna get you the good pumps when you try to get the good pumps. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, this one makes the the vessels in your, you know, your male member, I'm gonna keep calling it your male member or whatever, just relax so that blood can just drop in it. So what I will what I will say is this is one of those things that made me feel that, you know, like whenever you need it is there and it's just dropping in, you feel me? So your joint feels heavy. And then when you're doing something, um, 
I'm telling you, I ain't trying to make no baby right now or whatever, but I got all the, you know what I mean? I got all the DNA ready for that to happen. You know what I'm saying? So this this give you all the DNA you need to, uh, to populate the earth like your man Genghis Khan. So that's what's going on with this show. Even as we talk about testosterone, I'm not a person that's against Western medicine. I just think you use those things in concert. So you can use those things to get measures and markers for the things that you want to take care of yourself. There needs to be some way that you are participating in your own health. Just in the same way you do with food, hopefully y'all doing everything with food like that, that if you know something is off, let that food be that medicine. You know what you need and you should be well versed enough to know what you need to incorporate in your diet to offset those things. But don't get it twisted. When you go to a doctor, you're going to a doctor to get a checkup and figure out what you need to incorporate and what are the numbers. So as it relates to testosterone, make sure you do that. So what I will say is just off the break, this whole substantial, I don't call it an experiment or whatever, but this whole thing right now is something that I'm feeling like really confident about. If I just wanted that effect, if I just wanted to have more DNA to give out, I wanted to be ready. I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? This is this is somewhat of a product review because I haven't done any other formations of this herb just but getting this and trying it out or whatever. So what I will say is that like what I've noticed is like a little bit of um, maybe a little bit of insomnia um, on the negative side of the game. Like I, I've noticed a little bit of insomnia um, on the positive side. I've noticed that like I'm a lot more focused, have a lot greater mood. Like so the positive way outweighs the, the negative as it relates to this. This is also an adaptogen. So this is not something that's going to just affect you just in one arena without you doing anything. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this is something that you could probably take. And if you don't have any particular focus on that arena in life, if you're not having sex, if you're not uh, working out, if you're not doing anything, you probably wouldn't even notice taking this pill or whatever. But I do notice that because that is part of my life or whatever. And that is, you know, something that I do I curtail my life and curtail the things that I take and eat to how they make me feel so I do notice what this does to my life and how I feel so anybody else it's probably not gonna do much for you you know what I'm saying unless you're taking this um, really knowing what your body does for you you know but those are the effects that I've noticed and the only negative side effect that I've noticed is like you know, I may have been like, you know, not sleeping as much as I normally sleep. And maybe that's one thing. Maybe that's a lifestyle thing. I don't know. But overall, I would say this is a good thing to take. And I'm interested in taking this in different formulas and different, you know, like different formations. And see what happens. But overall, it's in that positive. But that's been Herbs Day. And I appreciate y'all for checking out. Please like, comment, subscribe. Check me out. I Talk to me. I talk back. You know what I'm saying? And I'll get with y'all on the next one. Peace.